Hi everyone, it's Ruby and Rayleigh and welcome back to our channel. Today in this video we are doing another pop art painting challenge and we're going to be painting portraits of each other. We've had so many requests to draw or paint each other and I have a little bit of experience but I feel like not as much as I need to probably do a whole art video on it. <laughs> the method that we're using today to create our pop art images is really, really similar to a video a while ago where we made sun catches. So hopefully it will be quite easy or at least we'll have a bit of experience with it. Yeah. The materials that you'll need to make something like we're making are an acetate sheet of plastic and this is going to work as a canvas but you can really use any plastic, it could even be like a plastic sleeve you will also, along with that, need an equal size sheet of paper masking tape which will need to stick them both together a pen and it needs to be permanent so we're using sharpies because they make a permanent mark on plastic and this is a plastic sheet. But if you're not as confident because Sharpies are permanent, then you can also use a washable marker. So if you make a mistake, you can rub it off and then go over in a Sharpie. We're also going to be painting our portraits with acrylic paint because that will stick to the plastic really, really well. I'm definitely excited to do this, but it's probably a bit risky because I haven't done really like on plastic before. Mm. But I'm excited to try it out because it seems like it could work really well. Okay. So, we're going to start out by drawing our basic portrait outlines. We have all our basic materials to do this, but we don't have the portrait photos yet. Yeah. <laughs> oh no, and mum, please, I hope you put out a good one. So, our mum's printed out some photos from our Instagrams of both of us. And we haven't seen them yet, I'm kind of nervous to see it. Draw it, because it's... <laughs> Who do you want to go first? I want to go first, yeah. My photo. I've got the photos, except they're covered and they've got paper on the back, so I can't actually see them. Have okay. you seen them? No. Three, two, one. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, I don't mind that photo. It's that one's nice. cool. I, I like, like that purple. photo. Photo number one. For some reason, ruby skin's purple. I think that's the way it printed. We don't have much ink left. Pretty photo. Three, two, one. Oh, I like that one. Oh. Okay. Oh. I like that one. Three, three, one. Uh. <gasps> that one's pretty. Pick one in your head that, you're, that you think I'm going to pick. I'm going to eliminate them one by one. This is the first one I'm going to eliminate. I'm trying to keep in mind I'm doing this in the style of pop art. I know which one's my favourite. I'm going to eliminate this one. Okay. I'm going to pick... Yes! <laughs> That would go pop out because the blue and sky. Mm -hmm. you're do and that. your face looks nice in it. So I've got the image of Ruby, now you're gonna pick the image of Rayleigh. Oh! Three, two, one, open. Go on. First one. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> this is the first photo. This was actually when your hair was straight. Nice, but I straightened it. This is the next one. Oh, that's nice. I like that. <laughs> this is the second one. This one's nice too. Mm -hmm. Okay, next one. This is off your Instagram thing. Yeah, it's off my Instagram page. This one, which I'm guessing you like it because you put it on there. I do. I like that one too. And the last one. <laughs> <laughs> you can tell really hate this photo. Okay. Uh, all these photos are really nice. They're kind of similar, I would say. Yeah, it's because I'm in all of them. <laughs> yeah. Okay, the first one I'm going to eliminate. Yeah, I'm going to eliminate this because I don't think it'd be a good pop art photo either because it's kind of <laughs> odd. <laughs> Second one, so these are all kind of the same to me. This one. It's nice, but it's not my favourite out of these two. I know exactly which one I don't want you to pick. This one. <laughs> I can tell you if it's short, we should pick this one. Yeah, and it looks like a nice my one. My other thought was if you pick the other one, you're going to have to draw teeth. So we've got both of our images now. This is the image of Ruby. This is the image of Rayleigh. Bear in mind, if you're printing images of yourself or others or anything out to do something like this, make sure they're large images and you don't print them out really small because if you're tracing them, you need to actually be able to trace them. So the first thing we're going to do is tape the pictures to the plastic. And this is important because it just makes sure that the image won't move and you'll get an image that's proportional to the original. So you sandwich the picture in between, like you're putting bologna or something in it. Like the sandwich bread. I need to do that. Alone. When your eye holes look big. 
Make sure you only put the tape on the top so you can keep removing it and seeing how your image is. Or on the side or the bottom, whichever way works best. Thank you. You're welcome. Both of us have got our images ready now. We've got our pens and everything is ready to start doing them. But before we do that, we've got to put a barrier up between us so we can't see what we're doing. Three, two, one. So our barrier is up now and we've got all of our materials ready and we're ready to start outlining. I'm very excited to do this. So am I, although I'm quite nervous to get it wrong. It's actually quite stressful, to be honest. <laughs> I'm getting the hang of it now. How about you? Mine's going good. I'm happy with how it's looking. So with me, if you have a shaky hand like me, I have a naturally like, non-stable hand. Naturally unstable. <laughs> I would do it a bit fast because people say do it slowly but that's if you have a stable hand mm -hmm. so with me i have to do it quite fast obviously not too fast yeah but it just makes it more straight and i do think that this sort of like drawing is quite forgiving because if you make a mistake then it looks kind of natural to be honest and you can fix it obviously yeah but you kind of just have to go with it yeah and if you have to miss out things as well on it because you're not going to put all the lines in the hair or anything you just got to do the outlines and the most yeah, obvious things in it you've really got to pick and choose what you want in there because mm -hmm. a lot of the things like they'll be defining features that make a person look like themselves and they're the things you've got to pick out and you've got to kind of work out what that is I am done. You're almost done. Relatively close, I'd say. How's yours looking? Weird, but also good. <laughs> That's really it's, it's strange, because like it doesn't look really like you, but then it's like just weird because it's pop art. I'm excited to see it. We've both finished the first part of this challenge, which is the outlining, and we've also covered them up with paper because throughout this challenge we're going to be revealing our images to each other step by step so on that note we're going to take the barrier down barrier's gone rock paper scissors <laughs> i'm going to show you this you first three two one. Oh wow oh that's so cool thank you i haven't seen them all. Well, that is nice. We have to look at though. This is what it looks like so far. Um, this is it with the thing in the background. I'll show you it without. I don't know if you can see it. Back over here, you can probably see it. It's looking really, really good right now, actually. So this is it close up, and I'm very happy with how it is so far. And if it looks this good now, then I'll like see when it's painted. Do you think this looks like you? I think so. I'm not too sure what I look I think like. it does, but I think it looks also just like a pop-up character as well, with a mix of both of you. Well, it looks good, regardless. Thank so, you. <laughs> I'm very happy with it. You ready to see yours? Y yeah. Three, two, one. Oh my! We went we went different approaches. Mm -hmm. And then, if I was to just show you the outline. Wow, that's good. That's what you get. That's making. good. Oh my gosh. That's like, we were, I think I went more artistically and you went like more thick lines. Yeah, because pop up. Yeah. Okay, here it is in three, two, one. This is Ruby. If you look at it funny, it kind of looks like a stick man at the moment, but that won't be permanent because there'll be colour going there. But That's I'm good. really proud of this. I think it looks like you. Smile on the way you are here. <laughs> but you look tired. I don't. You do, isn't it? Cause you're like, That's quite offensive. <laughs> no, because you were going. <laughs> you do the face it's doing now. Oh, that's creepy. So these are our pop art painted drawings at this stage. It's really cool. It's kind of strange though. I'm really happy with how they both look. Yeah, it's, it's a bit scary. I know it's creeping me out. This was really, really fun to do. I would definitely recommend it. And make sure you comment who you think won round one. Ruby. 
<laughs> or really drew me. <laughs> So we've got our images outlined now and the next step is to paint them. So for this challenge, we're gonna be taking it in turns to pick a color. It's not three colors though, so we can use as many as we want, but we can't use the same ones. We are also given white and black mm -hmm. already, so then we can mix colors yeah. as well. And we can mix colors. Yeah, this time we can. Brought paper, scissors. Mm. Ooh, okay. My first pick. I'm just pick the one one I need. I don't really know what colours you need to make it, to be honest. I do. Carry on. Cool. Um, I want this. Ooh. We've got our paints now, we've got our brushes, we've got our water, and we've got our palettes. So we're going to be putting the barrier up and then doing it. So we've got the barrier up, and the first thing I'm gonna do is turn this around so it's backwards. What? You'll see. The first thing I'm gonna do is take the sheet, your actual, the actual paper, copying out so I can actually copy it. So the first thing I'm gonna do is the inside of the eyes needs a white dot on them, and I just wanna get that done first because I have to work backwards for how I'm doing it. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the face. Let's get started. Started. What I'm doing looks very funny right now. Then it looks like I put a face mask on. Same. I'm basically just laying it on the back and then you can turn it around and it keeps the lines perfect. I'm doing the hair now. What about you? Me too, I'm actually making the color for it right now. It's actually quite difficult. Careful how much you do that because you might accidentally melt the plastic. So we've both finally finished the second part of our pop art portraits. And now we've tied up and we're ready to show each other. I'm kind of nervous Same. because it looks like you and I don't know if you'll see it. It looks good though. You ready? Let's take the barrier down. Also, I've got something to admit, I did paint it on the front, but then mm -hmm. I, when I was in the middle of painting, I turned it around and I realised that the other side looked more like animation-ish, <laughs> looked better than the painted side. So okay. I used that. Oh, here it is. Oh, I won. Okay, I'm going to show you mine first. Three, two, one. This looks kind of freakish, doesn't it? Because it looks like you. This is it. So That's scary. scary. Wait. What do you think? Do I look like that? I mean, animated version. I don't know, I don't know what I look like. That shit's really similar to you. <gasps> I got the colours quite well. Yeah, oh my goodness. So, this is my painting so far. Obviously, it is inverted because of the fact that I twisted it round. But this is what it's like now. And this is the original one. I do prefer the other side there because it looks more smooth. I think they look quite similar. It's kind of scary seeing myself as a cartoon. Three, two, one. Oh! <gasps> <laughs> I don't recognize myself either. You don't? You look. The image. I did like the lighter part here as well. Oh my. I'm going to show you in three, two, one. This is the front. And this is the actual image that I made. I'll try and do the same pose. I didn't have blue, so your eyes are grey. Your eyes kind of look that colour anyway. So that is my image of Ruby. So here they are together. Make sure you head over to the community page and comment who you think won this round. Ruby or Rayleigh? Not for me though, that, that can be Yeah, I know. <laughs> I 
Okay, so this is our third and last round, and in this round we're going to be doing our pop-up backgrounds. And in this round we're going to give all the finishing touches to our artwork. So let's close our eyes. Yep. Three, two, one. Oh, <gasps> that's cool. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we have stripes, and it comes with a sharpie and a ruler. Dots, and it comes with hole punches. That's smart. Yeah, it is. Sunburst. Comes with this protractor and a pencil. Sunburst is like the stripes, except it comes from a point. So from behind the image, you could have like. Yeah. And then we have two tone, which is a ruler and a pencil. And two tone is just two shades of the same color. Hmm. That actually works for you I didn't think I did. I am. I don't want to do stripes. I don't want to do dots. And I don't want to do sunburst, and I want to do two tone. Okay, that's the one I want to put. I've got a second backup. Oh, sorry. Sorry, I've got a backup. I don't want to do sunburst. I don't want to do dots because I don't trust them. <laughs> so I'm going to do stripes. Cool, okay. We've got our tools now to kind of show us what we're doing, and now we're going to maybe find out what we're using. Yeah, let's find out. Three, two, one. Whoa! Ooh, that's cool, that's cool. We've got really colourful paper and acrylic paint. And by the way, our mum has said that we can both use one of them, but there's only some amount of colours. Mm -hmm. uh, I picked card. I really, really want to use the card. And I already know the colours I want as well. These are the colours I want to use. Okay, so I was quite tied between them, but I have already used paint today. Yeah. So I want to use something different, which is cards. So I'm going to pick this green. Oh, nice. And purple or pink? Purple. Purple, yeah. And purple. You picked my two favourite colours. Yeah, same. These are my two favourite colours, the exact shades. High five. My nice choice. We've put the barrier up now and we're going to do the finishing touches to our paintings. And part of that will be putting them in frames, so our mum's given us some frames. I'm excited to do this part because it's going to two together. So, we are now going to do the finishing touches and then we'll be back to you for the finished pop-up portraits. Okay, so we're both completely finished with our backgrounds now, which yes. means our entire paintings are done. The background is very, very easy to put in. It took five minutes tops. Yeah. You can paint it, it will look nice, but I definitely recommend using card. A little mm. does go a long way, definitely. Now we're going to take the barrier down and we've turned our paintings the front side down so you can't actually see them. Hello. I'm Olaf. love. Do you want to rock pieces for the final time? Yes. I won again, and I'm going to show you first. You ready? Yes. Three, two, one. <gasps> Final image. Wait, that's so cool. Thank you. That looks, wow. The background's really clean, isn't it? No, it's very slick. Is yours like this? Or different? Yes, I would say it was. Okay, I'm going to show all of you then. Three, two, one. This is the final image of Ruby in a style of pop art and it looks like her and it's scary to me. Like I've always wondered what I'd look like or people I know would look like as cartoons and I never really thought that this was such an easy way of visualizing it. Like yeah. this wasn't hard to do at all and it looks so cool and so precise. Like it's something that I feel like looks a lot harder than it is. Mm -hmm. I'm proud of this and it's really, wow. On that note, I want to see yours. Three, two, one. Kind of gives me like candy floss vibes. I like the colours. I know they're very pretty. I, that's what I remember. I feel like yours is mine's more like, I don't know, like quite more. It looks a lot like you. It looks exactly like you. Anyway, let me show you. Three, two, one. So this is mine. I'm really happy with it. It's definitely a lot more like, I don't know why, but I feel like it's more colourful than yours, even though the kind mm -hmm. of colours. Yeah, it's more complicated in the yeah background. Very cool, it gives a lot of pop of colour mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. I really like how it turned out and they both look really nice together. These are our completely finished pop art portraits of each other. Let us know what you think in the comments and for this round, let us know which one you like the most. Rayleigh's or Ruby's? And here they are together. I feel like they go together. 
So that's the end of our video. We're both really pleased with how our paintings turned out and make sure to let us know if you enjoyed it. And if you did, then make sure to give it a big thumbs up. We have two shout outs for this video. The first shout out goes to Poppy Royal, who emailed us some amazing colored pencil drawings. Thank you so much for emailing them. These are the drawings, they're really, really good. I especially love the dog. Mm -hmm. I really like the strawberry. <laughs> Poppy also has an Instagram account called Poppy Art. Make sure to go check it out if you want to see some of her artwork. Second shout out goes to Elizabeth. Also has an Instagram account called Miss Artsy. There are some really, really beautiful paintings on there. There's loads of portraiture, which is my favorite thing to paint. So I'm really impressed by that. And yeah, make sure to go check it out. That's it for now. And if you do decide to try what we've shown you in this video, make sure to tag us or send it to us because I'm really excited and interested to see how all of you do. Anyway, we really hope you enjoy this video. We love you. Bye. The materials that you'll need to, not today, okay. So we, sorry, I'm keeping these. Are you rocking? I'm not consciously rocking. <laughs> Look in the comments. <laughs> you too. Who really won that? <laughs>